hello everybody it's Peg and today is nano germo number 14 and with the craft shack uh, design team we are doing bling today so let's bling it out um, I decided I'm gonna work in the black journal again and I'm gonna work with something a little bit different um, you can see I have put some pigment inks down here trying to pick a palette of what I'm going to use so these are just my samples um, these are the uh, PBO paints um, so you can see this looks pink here uh, it actually is a violet blue iridescent and that's just it you know when you put it down on the black that's what you're getting is that um, violety blue color so I like to experiment and test things before I actually go to my journal and do that kind of stuff. So let me get it out here. Um, <laughs> bling, I was thinking about what am I going to do with bling? I've got something here. Um, okay, so we're ready to work on this page. And something I want to work with, um, I've got a small jelly this is that little four inch round and I thought oh this would be fun um, since all of a sudden the jelly plate people have decided it's okay if we use other things than um, paint so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use something other than paint I'm going to use some stencils um, and I need my phone because I need to set the timer. I'm really bad about this timer thing, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I just, I, I get to doing the process and then it's like, okay, the 15 minutes is up. I'm not done. So I apologize. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm a bad girl. I'm a messy girl. I'm a bad girl. I'm always doing something wrong, right? Okay. So we've got uh, 15 minutes on the clock, and I'm going to start, and here we go. So here's my jelly plate, and what I want to do is, let's see, I want to start with, let's start with this pink, and then I want to move to, this is kind of a violet, And these are Colorbox uh, pigment inks. And I've had these, honestly, I've had these for at least 20 years. Um, they last forever. Of course, I have, oops, getting guck in there. Um, I have the refills. So, I mean, as long as, as, long as you keep them moist and refill them, you're going to be good to go. Okay, so we're overlapping, and then I want the blue, I think. So let's do, let's do this. I think this is going to be pretty good. Well, actually, that's not as blue as I want. So, I'm going to grab another blue and deepen that edge even more. Just layer these up. You may get a little bit of contamination on here, but that's okay. You can just wipe off that stuff from the surface and go back and re-ink it, and it'll be fine. Okay, so now I've got I want to go back in with that pink again because it's not, it's beating up just a little bit there. And I want to make sure that we get good coverage because what I'm doing, this is going to be a moon, I think. So we'll put it up here in the sky, a nice big full moon, and press it down see what we get oh yeah 
pretty, pretty moon. Okay, now this is going to stay wet on here. And honestly, if I was doing something else, I would just keep playing with this. But I'm going to set it aside because I'm going to move on to the stencil now. Um, I've got this Tim Holtz Wildflower stencil. And I'm going to lay it in here. And I'm going to come in with these same colors. Um, let's start with that pink again. And right now I'm just, you know, where the stencil looks like there's a flower head because it stems and flowers and it's really more of a silhouette. Um, I'm going to lay in the base color, which is going to be this pink. And then I want to come back with this violet. And I'm going to grab this other box of inks. You see they come in these nice assortments. And it's fun because you can work across the palettes. I'll have to show you how that works. Oh, let's see. This is the leaf portion here. I'm just getting a little bit of the green in because I want to come back with another green and I also want to come in with that blue oops yeah don't move your stencil though and blend out Okay, and last but not least is this kind of grassy green. So we're going to get these leaves and stems here. So pigment ink takes a while to dry. I will tell you that. And I like to heat set it just to make sure that it's good and dry because <laughs> sometimes when it's damp out you can you can let it sit there for a week and then come back and the stuff is still wet. So um, heat tool is a good thing, right? Okay, I think I think I've got the majority of this covered now. We'll take a peek. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So, how are we doing on time? Oh, four minutes. <laughs> I'm talking and playing and I'm not paying attention. Okay. So, what else have I got here? I've got, oh, I like this dragonfly. Let's do him in a silver. Since we're all about bling, let's get some bling going on here, right? There he is. And let's see, what else do I want? Actually, I really want to do a little bit more of this flower here. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Try to 
hurry up a little bit because I'm slow motion here. Most of the time, it's the slow mo. I do take my time doing these things. Okay, and then the blue. And we'll call that good. Yep. One more. One more little flower there. Or two. <laughs> yeah. All right. I like that. All right. So, time. Oh, we got six minutes. Hey, we're doing good. Um, now, what do I want? I want... I want, I want, I want, I want, um, I like this stamp. These are uh, mostly magenta stamps. If you guys are familiar with magenta, it's a company out of Canada. I have loved their stamps forever. Natalie Mativier and her group, um, Oh dear, I can't think of her sister's name now. Anyway, you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. So, I need a green. I, I, just, I just think these are the cutest little stamps. I mean, how can you not love this stuff? Get some viney stuff going here. Uh, maybe one through here. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, you guys aren't seeing this very good, are you? Oh, I apologize. I'm into the zone. Can you tell? Zoned out. All right. So, that being done and said, now I should probably dry it a little bit. Pardon my noise. And then, I don't know if this is dry enough because what I want to do is draw on top of this. Um, these are metallics and I had some scrap stuff here. Oh yeah. So this is like a glitter pen. You want to talk about your bling. So I'm just going to go in here on my little dragonfly and give him a little sparkle. Yep. He be shining. See if I can get that up where you guys can see it. 
Can you see the bling? Maybe a little bit. That's too bright. Okay. Well, trust me. It's it's like sparkly, diamondy, cool stuff. Okay. Now, what do I want to do next? Do I want to do that? Or do I want to do... Oh, I think I like that one. All right. And I'm not sure which one that came off of. I don't know. Got to keep moving here. Okay, so on the flowers, I just want to define some of the petals. Yeah, I'm back in the zone. I'm not talking to you. I'm sorry. That's the way I am. Just get on my own track. Yeah, that's still a little wet. I might have to wait for it to dry a little bit. And I can come back in and do some of that later. But you get the drift. You get the idea. I'm What I'm doing is is like right down here where I'm just doing a little doodle over the top. Okay? So, um, okay. So let's do, let's do a bigger flower. Let's see if I can get one in here. Oh, no. There it goes. I always do that. Okay. We're done for today. Um, I really wanted to get a flower in here, right? Or two. What can I say? Well, anyway, you guys get the drift. You can keep on working with these. I can go in and I can pick up other colors. You know, I can I can add to those uh, just by picking up another color and defining, you know, the edges and that sort of thing. So that's it for the 15 minutes. Bye. See you again. Give me a thumbs up, share if you like it, and have a great day, guys. So long.